Hey guys, how are you all doing? Bionicle Saurus here, back with another video. This will be a review on this beauty right here, the Papo Stegosaurus. For those who do not know my method of reviewing, I rate every figure from F to A based on scientific or paleontological accuracy, detail and paint job, and overall appearance. So without further ado, let's get into this review. Starting with overall appearance. The overall look of this model is incredibly lifelike and realistic. All the beautifully sculpted musculature and the posing and paint job is really naturalistic, very authentic and believable. This thing looks like a real living, breathing creature. Talking specifically about the pose, it is uh, in a pose as if it is walking, perhaps hurrying, but not running. It is certainly not in a galloping position. Uh, you can see by the fact that the two right limbs are pushed forward and the two left limbs uh, pushed back. What You can tell what gait or stride they are trying to emulate. I can't remember exactly what creatures possess that stride in nature, but I can see what they were trying to do, and it works quite well. I'd say Papo did a really good job with this figure. It looks very natural and very real. So, for overall appearance and look, I give this figure a solid A. It would have gotten an A plus if they had gone for more coloration, especially on the plates. This figure does come across as a bit dull and a bit stereotypic for a dinosaur, seeing as it is primarily green. However, this figure is very believable. The pose is naturalistic and lifelike, and that's something Papo is very good at achieving, and they certainly did not fail for this model. Now it's time to talk about probably the best aspect of this figure, detail. This figure's detail is, well, I shouldn't even have to say it, it's a Papo figure. Of course it's going to have tremendously well-textured skin and tremendously good quality control and paint application. This figure doesn't fail. It's exactly what we expect from Papo now. It is by far reaching the same standards that we hold them to today. The detail on this model is exquisite, especially the skin texturing. While the scales are unrealistically large, for the size of this model, they've made them quite impressively small. So I'd say they did the best they could. It's not perfect, but it is really well done. The paint job is also very well applied. There are almost no errors, so many little detailed bits, and I can just imagine how hard it is to engineer logistically a paint job like this. I mean. The only part that is slightly off is the eye, because it is not at all glossy. It's very flat in color, and a bit non-genuine, but still, it's a very small gripe, and uh, it certainly doesn't take away from this figure's detail in the slightest. So unsurprisingly for detail, this figure gets an A+. There's really nothing to complain about, and that's just all there is to say. However, it is now time to get into the final category, and boy, did they destroy this one. Scientific accuracy. Let's get started with this train wreck. First off, let's talk about what is paleontologically correct. The proportion of the torso and limbs is roughly on par with actual specimens of Stegosaurus. The neck is about the right length, and the head is the right shape, but, and this is the first issue, it is far too large. I know it seems ridiculous because it looks like a tiny head, and it is, but you have to keep in mind these things were 30 feet and their brains were the size of peanut shells. So, yes, the head should be even smaller. Another thing I have to complain about is the front feet have those stereotypic elephantine flat bottoms, which is just annoying. They should have looked more like, say, the hands of the Safari Limited Nasutoceratops, or 
the Safari Limited, I believe the new Sora Pelta also has the same look for its front feet. They're just far too pillar-like, almost like that of a sauropod. Another big issue with this is the spikes and plates. The most iconic part of Stegosaurus isn't correct at all. First of all, the plates are not the right shape. They are oddly curved rather than being the perfect uh, straight-edged diamond shapes that they should be. They also are not of the right orientation or the right number. But one of my biggest issues with this figure is the tail spikes. They did the classic mistake of curving them and having them point straight outwards. They look like giant tyrannosaur teeth or something. Not the least bit correct. Another issue is their texture, which probably won't come across on camera, but they have these cracks along them. It's, it's weird. It, it looks like it's based directly off of the old fossilized uh, spikes, and it doesn't look like it should be on a living animal. Now let's get into the last issue, and that is the tail. This thing has the shortest, stubbiest excuse for a stegosaurus tail I have ever seen. This thing is like a little rat tail, it's just uh, right there. Stegosaurs had huge, long, muscular tails, and this thing isn't even uh, positioned right. It shouldn't be drooping like this. It looks like they stuck a ceratopsian's tail on this thing. It should be much longer, and it should be raised high. It should be held high and parallel to the ground, just like its body. But instead, this thing comes across as being a reconstruction from the 1970s. Ugh. They really botched the paleontological accuracy, so many issues. I will close by saying there is one nice thing, and that is kind of the inclusion of a cloaca. It's not even molded in there, and it might just be on mine, but there is some darkening around this area. I think it's supposed to be a cloaca. I'm not really sure, to be honest. So, as my final rating for this figure's scientific and paleontological accuracy, I give it a C+. This might be the lowest rating I've given any figure for any of the three categories, but good lord, this model just fails in almost every department. I mean, it has plates and legs and it's, uh, that's about all you can say. Those things aren't even right in relation to each other, they're just there. Good lord, there's nothing good to say about this figure's accuracy. This is about the least educational reconstruction of a stegosaur that you could hand to a young, impressionable child. It's horribly outdated and blatantly based off of the stegosaurs from the Lost World. So, for my overall rating, I give this figure a B-. I know that its detail was an A+, and that its overall look was a solid A, but accuracy is such an important part of any figure of any prehistoric animal. It's important that these figures are correct and educational. And so, to me, this figure, while it looks pretty, is kind of a fail. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching, and this is Bionicosaurus signing out.